When he tells the story of his escape, the picture he paints is coloured, omitting details he would like himself to forget. Or perhaps to turn those fragments into a past worth remembering. And he would begin like this. On my first afternoon away from the sanctuary of my home, I met a farmer on his way through the valley, southbound. We barely took note of each other, and that would have been the extent of our brief encounter had not a moment of melancholy brought us together. We met on that north-south passage, immersed in our own thoughts, our own dreams of what lay ahead. But something struck me, a thought familiar at first, perhaps even amusing, then intriguing, then frightful, then unspeakably terrifying. We looked at each other, not at our physical selves, but at the shadow we cast. There we saw ourselves two men sitting atop a wagon, as if we were friends, as though we were brothers. And we realised that we would never know each other, never share another moment together. When he tells the story of his escape, the picture he paints is coloured, omitting details he would like himself to forget. 